Hi guys, having another look at the fault on my external power supply. My Ford boy suggested just checking here where the armoured cable is stripped back um, and sealed here because if they haven't done the job right they could have actually left sharp edges from the steel protection that could have gone the other way and caused damage to the insulation. My instant reply was I did that when I replaced this and then I thought, no I didn't. That's the original. So I've just pushed that sleeve back. I think that's a bit of heat shrink that covers over this. I'll undo this and we'll have a look at what's, what it's like under there. It's worth a try anyway. It's either that or we're going to have to dig up <laughs> the pavias where it goes under to the garage. This is what we're talking about. These steel wires here, that's the protection. So that if you accidentally try and chop through the cable, you hit the steel protection first. These two bits go together and clamp the sharp ends. So there's no loose sharp ends going into the cable. So even though I can't get them apart at the moment, there's no real point. So I don't think that's the issue. I would also think if they were in contact there, we'd have a very low resistance between any of these conductors and the steels or that brass there. Right, well that's, the yellow is the earth, and the reading we're getting is two ohms there. So earth to earth, two ohms. Earth to live. Over two mega ohms. Earth to neutral. Yeah, we're getting nothing there. So I'm guessing somewhere along the line we are actually earthed. Oh, probably at the other end where the cable is terminated. That is probably terminated to earth which is also strapped to that. That strap there goes to the clamp that holds that in place. So the, the outer steels are earthed, which is why when I go onto the earth, we get a low resistance to earth. Hope that's making sense, but that's right. <laughs> and if we got a connection between the steels 
and the power, we get a low resistance there and we're not. So two ohms, that's a good, that's as good as we're going to get actually, I think. So I think that would be about two ohms too. Yeah, that's the resistance of my leads. So it doesn't look like it's a problem in the gland there. But it was worth a look. For those who wanted to see the other end of the cable, this is the other end. It goes down there and through the wall. Looks nice and clean at this end. And then that white cable is the one that goes up over the uh, rafters to the power feed on the other side of the garage. That's just loosely hanging up, up there. It's not nailed in place or anything. But as I showed in the previous video, when we switch it on and off at this point, the fault appears and disappears. So it's clearly out to line from here. Out to line. <laughs> out of the garage, along that cable somewhere. As I showed in the previous video, it then comes out of the garage goes down there and we can see it comes along under here somewhere but from there on we have no idea exactly where it goes we know it ends up here and I dig dig down there and it actually at that point comes this way that means nothing. It could well be coiled under there. You have no idea which direction it goes from there to get to there. If this was a flower border before, which is what I think, it may simply be just laying straight along and underneath, but we don't know. Without lifting the paviors up, pavers, we just have no way of knowing. We don't know what depth it is either. It's got to be at least below the depth of those pavers, so it could be, well, we don't know. It could be six inches, it could be two feet. Deeper there, because they're higher. And, as I say, I've checked all the way along there, there's no obvious signs of damage along there, where we can see it. So my guess is under here somewhere it's been damaged. I don't think it was when they did the fencing because it was working fine for quite a while afterwards. On the other hand they could have nicked it, damaged the casing and it's slowly corroded giving us the problem we have now. Without digging it up we have no way of knowing. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment so I know I'm doing and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists, thanks again.